Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris Gaysford, and I know it's been a little bit, but I mean, it's the holidays, things get a little bit busy from time to time. Uh, my office has probably been reconfigured three or four times by now, so uh, I'm just excited to have everything set back up so I can start making some more videos again. And in this video, we're going to be looking at the SmartThings integration to Home Assistant. So right here, I have the SmartThings Wi-Fi plug. Um, I know in previous videos when I talked about just kind of the different ways to add things to your Home Assistant, um, I mentioned that I probably wouldn't be doing a SmartThings integration into my Home Assistant. And I do want to revise that statement. So I did, I'm not going to be using the SmartThings Hub to connect devices locally to my home assistant but the wi-fi smart plug and like some of the samsung tvs that actually use the smart things integration all go through the smart things integration so to get those type of things that are wi-fi based from smart things or samsung into home assistant you do have to use that smart things integration so that's what we're going to be doing in this video so stick around All right, so before we could actually jump into the computer and actually start adding Home Assistant or doing anything like that, first we need to take our SmartThings Wi-Fi plug here and actually get it into our SmartThings account. The easiest way to do that is gonna be through the SmartThings app, which I have open here. And as you guys can see, I have the little Wi-Fi plug and camera over here. It looks like it's a little overexposed. There we go. So I have the Wi-Fi smart plug on this view over here and hopefully things look good there. Um, so what we're going to do on the app is we're going to go ahead and hit the plus button here and we're going to say add new device. Um, it's going to give us a bunch of different options. This is a smart things branded Wi-Fi plug. So I'm going to hit scan QR code here. Um, we'll go ahead and allow that and now uh, we're gonna it's asking for the QR code so we're just gonna take the, this and hold it up to that plug all right boom let's get started with your Wi-Fi smart plug so we'll go ahead and press start and it's gonna be in my home it's actually gonna be in my we'll just say basement I don't want to have multiple rooms on my smart things app because I'm going to do all my room stuff on Home Assistant. So I'm going to go ahead and press next here. All right. And then it says hold the power button until the green light slowly blinks on the smart things plug. So as you can see on the phone here, it's giving us a quick example of what it's looking for. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take this plug and plug it into this extension cord that I have right here. And then we're going to go ahead and hold up. Oh, it looks like it's already flashing green without us needing to hold the power button. Then while I am waiting for that Wi-Fi plug to go ahead and connect to the Wi-Fi from the credentials my phone's going to give it. Um, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about um, how this SmartThings integration compares to other SmartThings integrations. And honestly, it doesn't really change much. So if you do have the SmartThings Hub and you're gonna be connecting devices through that, this integration process is exactly the same. You're just doing the standard SmartThings integration um, and it's gonna go ahead and port over all your Smart Hub, SmartThings devices over to your Home Assistant. Um, in this case, I don't wanna use my SmartThings Hub, so I'm just gonna connect this to my SmartThings account which I've already removed my hub from and so that way when it ports my devices over all I'm seeing is going to be this guy and maybe my Samsung TV which I wouldn't necessarily be able to integrate any other way. Alright, so I now have my SmartThings plug 
um, added to the SmartThings app and I can control it. I could turn on and off this light with it. Um, it works great as far as using it through the app. So the next step is to actually get it into our Home Assistant. So let's go ahead and hop over to our Home Assistant um, here and nothing much has changed with it. We're actually going to go down to configuration integrations and down here we're going to hit add integration so um, if you're old home assistant user with smart things um, you used to go add it to your configuration file um, it looks like they have changed that as of recently so that is no longer the case so we're just going to hit add integration um, we're just going to come up here and search for smart things and then it's going to ask us to confirm the URL for the callback. Um, something I do need to mention here, um, we'll go ahead and press submit and it's going to ask us for our token, but um, to use the SmartThings API through Home Assistant, you have to have an SSL cert. So up here at the top, you can see I've widened out my URL um, to the Home Assistant instance I'm using here. Let me go ahead and close out of this. Um, and that is because I am currently using the Home Assistant Cloud to give myself remote access to my Home Assistant, which in turn gives me an SSL for accessing Home Assistant. Um, if you just access it by IP and you haven't given your Home Assistant uh, SSL cert through DuckDuckGo or CertBot or something like that, this integration won't work. The SmartThings API only allows API calls from a secure cert. So if you see this up here, um, you're gonna need to get a cert on it to go ahead and continue. Since we are using the Home Assistant Cloud, we're gonna go ahead and move forward with this integration. Um, so we're gonna go to configuration, integrations, do that SmartThings integration again. We're gonna go ahead and press submit. It's gonna ask us for an access token. And so what we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna to need to go get one and you can get this over um, at account.smartthings. Um, you're gonna to have to log in with your Samsung account. So we'll go ahead and do that here. All right, and then inside of here, we're gonna to need to generate uh, a new token. So this is the token from my old Home Assistant instance. So I'm gonna go ahead and just delete that token. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and generate a new token by clicking generate new token here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and give it a name, Home Assistant. All right, now it's asking what permissions we want to give it and we're going to go ahead and give it all of our devices. Um, and I think that's all we're actually going to need. We're going to generate token and all right, so here's the token here um, for you guys. It's probably blurred out, um, but we're going to go ahead and just copy that token by pressing copy token. We're going to come back over here. It's going to ask us for the access token and we're just going to paste that in there. And then all we have to do is hit submit and it should, okay. And then choose location and I, oh, this is the location inside your SmartThings app. So I currently have two locations, Provo and my home. Uh, my home is the correct one. So we'll go ahead and press submit there. All right. So it's going to want us to authorize home assistant. And it looks like Firefox is preventing that pop-up. So we're going to go ahead and go to preferences and allow that pop-up. And then home assistant hit done. Um, it's not asking us to authenticate because we're already logged in on this other tab saying, are you sure you want to let it see all your devices? We're going to go ahead and say allow and boom. So it says that was completed. And we can now see we have the Samsung 7 series and the Wi-Fi smart plug. Um, so we're going to go ahead and I don't have my office currently. So we'll put the button here in a new space. We'll go ahead and say off. Keep calling it a button, but it's a Wi-Fi smart plug. We'll go ahead and say office. And then the TV is actually just in my base 
I don't have a basement either on here yet. So we'll go ahead and also add a new room for basement. Okay, and we'll go ahead and press finish. So now we have the smart things here. We have two devices. And now we can see we have the Wi-Fi smart plug. And using the Wi-Fi smart plug, we can see it's currently on. We can now use it to turn on and off this light. So they've definitely made this integration much easier than in the past. And then, like I mentioned earlier in this video, um, if you wanted to do the SmartThings Hub, um, the process doesn't change. You have the SSL cert, you add the integration to SmartThings, you get the access token, and then any devices you have actually connected to your SmartThings Hub will show up inside of your devices here. Um, so just like our Wi-Fi smart plug, so if we had our Z-Wave or Zigbee sensors or devices connected to that hub, um, we would now be able to see them here. And with that guys, I think that's where I'm going to go ahead and leave this video. Um, if you liked the video, definitely hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I would really appreciate it. I think the last time I checked, I had 166 subscribers on the channel, which is just insane. Um, I know there was quite a gap between the last video and this video, and I do apologize for that. But with it being Christmas and the holidays, I hope you guys will understand. Um, I recently just got a 3D printer. It's the brand new Snapmaker 2.0. Um, so expect some content from that coming out here soon. Um, I'm really excited about it. I'm still trying to figure out how to use it and play with it and actually get the results I want from it. But I am excited to start sharing 3D printing content with you guys. I'm very new to 3D printing, so it just seems really exciting. So um, if that's something you guys are going to be interested in, definitely let me know. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.